Hej, okay, cześć i cześć moi kochani, witajcie z tej strony Lufty, a to jest kolejny odcinek z serii Zagrajmy w Dragon Age'a. Allow me. We'll need focus and magical energy to get by. You, Flatir, can you manage it? Where is my... Sprawdźmy, co tu się będzie wyrabiać. Sprawdźmy. Ostrze złodzieja. Proszę bardzo. Akurat coś dla nas. Coś, co, jakby to powiedzieć, pasuje dla naszej profesji. Proszę bardzo. Ostrze złodzieja. Zobaczcie, jak duży to jest. Co to jest? Znaczy nie. Spadaj. Co ja mam? A. Setero. To nie wiem, który to jest ten setero. A, dobrze, już jest. Dobra. Już mamy te nowe bronie. Wymaga ma. Muszę jednak magiem tu na razie troszeczkę. It is called veil fire. It is a form of sympathetic magic, a memory of flame that burns in this world where the veil is thin. Okay, I must now get today Salaxan to show the power to this game. That's what I see. Where my friends are? Company. Here are my company. Zatwierdź. Niestety. Niestety muszę troszeczkę ja tutaj. Muszę tu powalczyć ja jako, no niestety jako mag, bo jak widzicie, tylko Solax może. O, laska opiekuna. Ciekawe co to jest. Sprawdźmy ekwipunek. Broń. Lodowa laska okolity, używa Solax, a gdzie ta... A, to schemat był, przepraszam. Schemat broni, laska opiekuna. Ciekawe, co to... Co zobaczymy, sprawdzimy, może uda nam się ten schemat jakoś stworzyć. Tam gdzieś coś jeszcze było. A, pochodnia, okej, okay, zapalmy to pochodnie. Nie skończy. Widzicie, my sobie nie poradzimy, bo nie jesteśmy postacią magiczną. Bardzo ciekawe. Nie powiem, bardzo mnie to też cieszyło, mogę powiedzieć. Tu z grosik widzę. Aktywuj. Dlaczego my ją musimy wykonywać? Może to było kijowe, no ale... Potęgi dodano w kodeksie mag. Przeszukaj tutaj coś jeszcze można przeszukać. List. Twierdza magów apostołów. Niech 
Niewódcy w Repli odgrywają dobrych magów jak zwykle. Mamy... Wszystko chyba już zebraliśmy, tak? A tu jest jeszcze coś. A. No zapalajmy tutaj płomień, niech płonie ogień. I właśnie ten amulet miałem zobaczyć, co to jest ten amulet potęgi. Akcesoria. Amulet potęgi. Co on daje nam? Zbadaj. Jednorazowy użytek otrzymujesz punkt zdolności na założenie. Wręczę tylko solak. Ten amulet osobie, która go założy, daje punkt zdolności, a na scenie rozpada się na kawałki. No to tylko solak może użyć jej. No i tylko my możemy teraz dostaliśmy punkt nauki, jeśli się nie mylę, tak? Dobrze. No my dostaliśmy tutaj punkt nauki. Może o, podpalenie weźmy. Albo błysko ognia. Zatwierdźmy. Okay. O, proszę, to jest jeszcze skrzynia. No i proszę, sprawdźmy, co do teraz mamy. Kurde, coraz lepsze przedmioty nam się udaje znajdować. 103, no na pewno. Zbraja pancerz obrońcy. Tylko wojownik. Ale kapelu z wiarowcy mówi założyć. Ale mm, sprawdźmy zbroję. Ale znowu życie nam odbierze. Dokładnie nie można. A broń? A widzicie tutaj coraz lepszy to. Jednak tą broń założymy o tą. O. Ale wtedy tarczy ona nie używa. To nie, nie możemy chyba tak. Tak mi się wydaje, że niech lepiej nie będzie i tarcza i miecz. No tak jako postać jednak y, broniąca. Gdzie ja? No chodźmy. Jako postać broniąca, no musi tak być. Musi. Naszej innej opcji raczej nie ma. Tak mi się wydaje przynajmniej. So we're taking the magical fire with us? Nie no, rzućmy to. No chodźmy. A gdzie teraz? Oh, here we are, elf. Cleaning up another human mess. What would the Inquisition do without our stabilizing influence, Master Tetra? I assume they just start. No i co tu teraz? Co tu gdzie można iść? Można się tata. Tam to nie za bardzo możemy iść. Tu takie zadanie było. Odłamki do ziemi. A powstańki już tak, tutaj. Właśnie nie wiem czy nie zajmiemy na razie tą wersję tutaj. Obrona za ziemia, dokładnie. Gentlemen are quite finished. Now, now, don't get touchy. We're just here to lend you simple humans our help. Before you cause everything to explode. Again.
Templar bastards killed my husband and stole the ring from his finger. They deserve to die. You're saying the Templars attacked your husband? Aye. He was digging out a stump. The fools couldn't tell a shovel from a mage's staff. Had to be safe, they said. Rebels everywhere attacking by surprise, sick bastards. They took the ring I gave him on our wedding day in case it was magic. Farewell. Hmm.
Lissa wants to know. Good day. Or good as it can be with a Skyrim party. Stay safe. Kind killed the most holy. Lies. Your kind let her die. Shut your mouth, mate! Enough! Knight Captain! That is not my title. We are not Templars any longer. We are all part of the Inquisition. And what does that mean exactly? Back already, Chancellor. Haven't you done enough? I'm curious, Commander, as to how your Inquisition and its herald will restore order as you promised. Of course you are. Back to your duties, all of you. Mages and Templars were already at war. Now they're blaming each other for the Divine's death. Which is why we require a proper authority to guide them back to order. Who? You? Random clerics who weren't important enough to be at the Conclave. The Rebel Inquisition and its so-called Herald of Andraste? I think not. I don't know. The Inquisition seems about as functional as any young family. How many families are on the verge of splitting into open warfare with themselves? <laughs> yes, because that would never happen to the Chantry. Centuries of tradition will guide us. We are not the upstarts eager to turn over every apple cart. I'll make sure they see reason in Balroyo. Pray you're right. The search in the nave wishes to verify that the infections have decreased in number. Yes. Thank you for your help. Tell me. The Inquisition cannot remain in Rome. If she can't prove it was founded on Justinia's orders. This is an inopportune time, Marquis. More of the faithful flock here each day. But allow me to introduce you to the brave soul who risked his life to slow the magic of the breach. Sir Trevelyan, may I present the Marquis Durellion, one of Divine Justinia's greatest. And the rightful owner of Haven. How do I your lend Justinia these lands for pilgrimage? This Inquisition is not a beneficiary of this arrangement. People have been injured. You can't just turn them out onto the snow. And who benefited, they say? Divine Justinia, Marquis. The Inquisition, not the Chantry, is sheltering the pilgrim Morna. Why is the Chantry ignoring the faithful? Because it remains in shock. <sighs> we face a dark time, Your Grace. Divine Justinia would not want her passion to divide us. She would, in fact, trust us to forge new alliances to the benefit of all, no matter how strange they might seem. I'll think on it, Lady Montigny. The Inquisition might stay in the meanwhile. Do the Durellions actually have a claim on this place? His Grace's position is not so strong as he presents it. Despite their Ferelden relations, the Durellions are Orlesian. If the Marquis wishes to claim Haven, Empress Selene must negotiate with the Ferelden on his behalf. Her current concerns are a bit larger than minor property disputes. I apologize for the intrusion. I didn't realize you were meeting with the Marquis. You did little harm. In truth, the debate was most beneficial as practice for those to come. You expect more people in Haven? Undoubtedly. And each visitor will spread the story of the Inquisition after they depart. 
An ambassador was put in the sewer. The tale is a complimentary response. The Inquisition is lucky to have you as an advocate, Lady Montpellier. Thank you. Let us hope so. Pedras' politics have become agitated as of late. I hope to guide us down smoother paths. But please excuse me. I've much work to do before the day is done. You're the Herald. Or, well, the one they're calling the Herald, anyway. I hope the Inquisition can restore order soon. I never really wanted to leave the Circle. My name is Maeve. I research demons and other creatures. Seeker Pentagast and I use what I find to help the soldiers fight them. I found something the demons left behind. Can you use it? Yes, that's very helpful. Just leave it there and the Tranquil and I will examine it. Yes. Good. Greetings, Herald of Andraste. How fares your quest to seal the breach? I'm doing everything within my power. A task such as closing the breach is a heavy burden. I hope you do not carry it alone. We remember Andraste, but Andraste did not carry the Count of Light alone. She had generals, advisors, even her husband was part of her mission. Do everything within your power, but remember those who would help you. I appreciate your insight, Mother Giselle. Take it for whatever it is worth. You walk a difficult path, and there is little enough I can do to aid you. In any case, I pray this Inquisition prove less brutal than its predecessors. Farewell. Make her go with you. We'll post soldiers a safe distance from the temple. Our best guess at safe, anyway. Let us begin. Let's see what we have. To 
work? Having the Herald address the clerics is not a terrible idea. You can't be serious. Mother Giselle isn't wrong. At the moment, the Chantry's only strength is that they are united in a group. And we should ignore the danger to the Herald. Let's ask him. I'm more concerned this won't actually solve any problems. I agree. It just lends credence to the idea that we should care what the Chantry says. I will go with him. Mother Giselle said she could provide us names. Use them. But why? This is nothing but a... What choice do we have, Liliana? Right now, we can't approach anyone for help with the breach. Use what influence we have to call the clerics together. Once they are ready, we will see this through. The city still mourns. Just a guest seeker, but I think they all know who we are. Your skills of observation never fail to impress me, Varric. My Lord Herald. You're one of Leliana's people. What have you found? The Chantry Mothers await you, but so do a great many Templars. There are Templars here? People seem to think the Templars will protect them from... from the Inquisition. They're gathering on the other side of the market. I think that's where the Templars intend to meet you. Only one thing to do, then. They wish to protect the people? From us? You think the orders return to the fold, maybe? To deal with us upstarts? I know Lord Seeker Lucius. I can't imagine him come. Return to Haiti. Someone will need to inform them at the other. Delay. As you say, my lady. Good people of Val Royal, hear me. Together, we mourn our divine. Her naive and beautiful heart silent by treachery. You wonder what will become of her murderer. Well, wonder no more. Behold, the so-called Herald of Andraste, claiming to rise 
where our beloved fans. We say this is a false prophet. No servant of anything beyond his selfish greed. We came here in peace, simply to talk. And this is what you do. I implore you, let us sit down together to deal with the real threat. It's true. The Inquisition seeks only to end this madness before it is too late. It is already too late. The Templars have returned to the Chantry. They will face this Inquisition, and the people will be safe once more. Still yourself. She is beneath us. Was that display supposed to impress me? On the contrary, it wasn't for you at all. Lord Seeker Lucius, it's imperative that we speak with... You will not address me. Lord Seeker? Creating a heretical movement, raising up a puppet as Andraste's prophet, you should be ashamed. You should all be ashamed. The Templars failed no one when they left the Chantry to purge the mages. You are the ones who have failed. You who'd leash our righteous swords with doubt and fear. If you came to appeal to the Chantry, you are too late. The only destiny here that demands respect is mine. If you're not here to help the Chantry, then you just came to make speeches. I came to see what frightens old women so, and to laugh. But Lord Seeker, what if he really was sent by the Magus? What if... You are called to a higher purpose. Do not question. I will make the Templar Order a power that stands alone against the Void. We deserve recognition. Independence. You have shown me nothing, and the Inquisition less than nothing. Templars, Val Royo is unworthy of our protection. We march. Charming fellow, isn't he? Has Lord Seeker Lucius gone mad? You know him very well. He took over the Seekers of Truth two years ago, after Lord Seeker Lambert's death. He was always a decent man, never given to ambition and grandstanding. This is very bizarre. Do you think he can be reasoned with? I hope so. If not him, there are surely others in the Order who don't feel as he does. Either way, we should first return to Haven and inform the others. This victory must please you greatly, Seeker Cassandra. We came here seeking only to speak with the mothers. This is not our doing, but yours. And you had no part in forcing our hand? Do not diminish the task. Now we have been shown up by our own Templars, in front of everyone. And my fellow clerics have scattered to the wind along with their convictions. Just tell me one thing. If you do not believe you are the Maker's Chosen, then what are you? Someone who can help close the breach and end this madness. That is more comforting than you might imagine. I suppose it is out of our hands now. 
We shall all see what the Maker plans in the days to come. It's not too late. The Chantry could still help us and come out on top. If only that were true. What's to stop you from trying? We are not looking for a winning horse. We are simply trying to do the right thing. What's that? An arrow with a message? I believe that messenger is... You are the Herald of Andraste, are you not? I have an invitation for you. If I might have a moment of your time. Grand Enchanter Fiona. Leader of the Mage Rebellion. Is it not dangerous for you to be here? I heard of this gathering, and I wanted to see the fabled Herald of Andraste with my own eyes. If it's help with the breach you seek, perhaps my people are the wiser option. Does that mean the mages will help us? We are willing to discuss it with the Inquisition at least. Consider this an invitation to Redcliffe. Come, meet with the mages. An alliance could help us both, after all. I hope to see you there. Au revoir, my Lord Herald. Come, let us return to Haven. <laughs> 